So the Frogmen have been around since World War II. 1958. 1958, they were started. Yep. And um, you just have to have a love of diving. We dive all year round, not just in the summer. We're just not vacation divers. We do ice diving, we dive in the summer. We dive on wrecks and dry suits and wet suits. I think the Caribbean diving is foo foo diving, really. I mean, anyone can dive in warm water. It takes more skill to dive here. It's like somebody who skis. Yep. You know, Nothing. if you don't like the cold, you know, you can't ski. Once you hit that beach line, all your problems, all your worries, they're up there. Once you hit that water, you forget about everything. This is Jensi Cherez. He's a uh, North Shore frogman. He's been a frogman for about five years. He's speeching hearing impaired, so uh, again, diving is for all walks of life. Dick. <laughs> and in Massachusetts, uh, divers can get a non-commercial license, so we can catch up to 15 lobsters a day. Bag, yep. And we carry gauges under the water to make sure they're legal. There's a yep. minimum and maximum size. We have a hardcore diver, yeah, Jack, Monroe, who's a, he's a hard hat diver, he's old commercial, commercial diver. diver, and uh, he, he's uh, 65, I believe, and he dives still wet in a wetsuit year round, year round. He's yeah. gonna outlive all of us. We've been diving since January 1st. Yeah, the whole yeah. bunch of us. Yeah. I'm sure almost everybody's got a story about something that they've done for the cops or recovered gear or or uh, done stuff for fishermen or, you know, uh, that's, that's just one of those things. I found a car underwater that had a body in it in Rockport and uh, so I worked with the state police and the harbor masters to recover the car and then they, the forensic people came and took the body out. So, so the woman had been missing for like six weeks. I told I tell most of my family about the stories long after it's happened. <laughs> this is a spike from uh, the USS New Hampshire. That little US that's on there was was uh, put on that thing when it was still hot, stamped in there, and these were built by hand in Paul Revere's shop. This is not the way they come out of the water, though. They're all encrusted with stuff. You don't even know what they are when you first get them out. Uh, and then you got to clean them up and dip them in acid and then, and then clean them up like this. I've read four books on Paul Revere. I probably know as much about him as his family does. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a piece of history. The same dive never looks the same. You know, something comes in, something moves. A new fish is introduced, a new rock moves. So it's just a... Uh, we're so lucky to have this. This resource, the ocean, is right here. Um, I can't imagine living in Iowa.